welcome to my analytics channel. For this uh, session, I will demonstrate on how to build a decision tree model using this data sets. As you can see, we have this income of our client. We have the employment status. Actually, this is a nominal uh, variable, but we um, convert this into numerical. Uh, one implies provisionary and two is regular. Then we have their account balance. Okay, this is account balance. Let's change. Okay, sorry for that. Then we have the number of siblings. And we have, and again, another nominal variable here. The property zero implies that that is an own properties of our client. And one is rented property. Okay, then the last uh, um, column is the preferred payment scheme. Okay, so let's run this data into our Rapid Miner tool. Now we have already opened our Rapid Miner. So the first thing to do is just click this new uh, process, then select this uh, blank process. Since we have already the data sets uh, stored in our our respective repository of our device, all you have to do is you have to load that data sets into this uh, Rapid Miner repository section. Okay, just click on this Add Data, then locate your um, data sets. So for me, I save my data sets in my desktop and my data sets, okay, here. So as you can see, my data set name is Client Clean Record. Okay, I have already cleaned my data. Actually, in Rapid Miner, you can clean your data there. Click on the next button. Then, as you can see, we have again another next button. Just click on that. Then there's no problem uh, because Rapid Miner will check if your uh, data sets have a uh, problems. Then you cannot proceed with this um, loading of your uh, data sets to this Rapid Miner tool. Then click on the next button, then finish. Automatically, your uh, data sets are loaded in this uh, Rapid Miner repository. Okay, this is our data sets. The Rapid Miner will uh, provide you automatically the statistical results of your data sets. As you can see, we have here only 40 samples. Then uh, you can check on the statistical part. As you can see, we don't have any missing values here. So, and, uh, and these attributes are treated as integer except for this one. This is polynomial. Okay, then um, you can uh, click on this part so that you can view the chart. Okay, so then it indicates here the minimum and the maximum, the average and the deviation. So you can have this descriptive statistics for your data. So that's how amazing the rapid miner is. Okay, now let's start to build our model. To build our model, all you have to do is just click on this design. Then um, you are prompted with this process area of your uh, Rapid Miner. Then uh, you have to uh, drag your data sets. Our data sets here is clean client record. Uh, after we drag our uh, data sets in the process area, the next thing to do is set roles so that we can select uh, among the attributes will be used as, as our target uh, role. Okay, then you have to drag your set role operators here. Then you have to do the connection. Then since this is selected, okay, then you can now select your attribute name as your target. So our target is the preferred payment scheme because we would like to know the preferred payment scheme of our client. Then um, you have to uh, change the target role to label. Then after that, since we have already set the role, then you can now um, use the operator split data. Even though we have only 40 samples, but for the sake of demonstration, I will show you on how to and uh, split your data here. So let's drag our operator split data. Then you have to do the connection here. Then since this is selected, then you can edit your split data. 
Then partition your data by looking at this parameter tab and just click the edit parameter list. Then you have to add an entry. The first one is our training data sets, which is 70% of 40 samples that we have. Then we have to click another entry for our testing data sets. Okay, then click OK. Since we have already split our data, now let's apply our decision tree uh, algorithm. Okay, then decision tree. Okay, then select that decision tree and drag it here. Then you have to make a connection to this uh, operator decision tree. Now, when you connect your date, the first partition, automatically the second partition appear. So this means that this is the 30% of your samples. So all you have to do for this is you have to apply the model. Apply model. Okay, then when you apply the model, okay, then um, you have to connect your uh, partition to the unlabeled because the 30% we assume that this is unlabeled even though that our data set is already labeled just to know the prediction of our, sorry, okay, uh, model. Then our model here, the decision tree will be connected to our apply model. Then after that, we have to check the performance of our model. So you have to select the performance um, classification of our model. So you have to drag it here. Then you connect your 70%. This is the connection of our decision tree model. Okay, then our uh, we have also to check the performance of our model here okay together with this one okay here and we're going also to check our model for the third uh, testing uh, model so you have to connect it here okay this is how you build your decision tree so let's check it first so What's the result since we have already three connectors here? So therefore, we are expecting three results here. So the decision model that we have, decision tree model, the performance of our decision tree, and our testing model. So let's uh, run this uh, process by clicking this button. Okay, there we have it. So this is our uh, decision tree. So we have a root node here. Our root node is, this is the significant variable to look at when you make a decision. Like for this one, this is the, the, the best variable is the employment status. And um, it says here that if the employment, okay, employment status is uh, greater to this value, then you have to look into the number of siblings. And if the number of sibling is greater to this value, then you can um, can check that your uh, client preferred to pay a monthly skim, okay? Because see, we have here the result when you um, point your cursor in that particular part, then it will show you the distribution of your data sets here. And we have a ratio of 68.97, okay? Then, uh, same with this and with that one. Okay, let's check for our apply model what happened. Okay, this is our apply model. As you can see, this is the 30% of the 40 samples that we have. So this is the label that we have. Okay, and this is the prediction. So for this particular client, so the, the prediction is this client will uh, pay quarterly, this one, this one. Okay, and that one. Okay, now let's check our classification performance of our uh, decision tree model. So let's check. This is only 54.55. It's acceptable because we have only 40 samples here. Okay, this is how you build your um, decision tree model. But before I end my um, 
demonstration, I will uh, show you on how to select some criterion because RapidMiner will automatically select the criterion of our decision tree. Okay, let's go back to our design. Okay, to check the criterion of our decision tree model, all you have to do is just click this part. Then you can check from this parameter that Rapid Miner selected the gain ratio based on the data sets that we have. But of course, you can, you know, run all of this criterion if you want. So let's try to run this uh, criterion Gini index, what happened to our um, decision tree model and the tree. So let, uh, let's review our a decision tree so it's look like this when using the gain ratio uh, criterion but if you are using the okay Gini index criterion let's try to reprocess this okay by clicking this uh, button then let's check the result okay so now let's check our first our decision tree here so this is how the Gini index uh, present the tree structure of our model. So um, it depends upon you on what criterion you will be using because you have to make some in-depth discussion on this why you use this particular criterion. And uh, let's check on the performance. Still, we have 54.55% of the uh, classification performance accuracy of our model okay then this is the prediction okay then okay uh, let's go back again to our design and for additional info is the split data when you do the splitting of the data the rapid miner automatically select this automatic that you can choose any sampling type here Okay, you can have the shuffled sampling. This is a random sampling. We have the stratified sampling, the linear sampling. But for this demonstration, uh, we use the automatic case. Okay. In addition, what if, if we're using the cross-validation operators uh, instead of uh, split data? So let's try to build how our model perform the result. Okay, so I have already deleted other operators here. So we remain our data sets and our set row. Then um, let's um, check our, uh, select our cross validation. Let's try to uh, check how this particular operators uh, change the result if we're using a cross validation. So just connect that one here. Then you have to double click this one then you apply our decision tree. So in our training our process, we have to um, okay place there the decision tree. Okay, our model here. Then you do some connection here. Then you connect that model to this particular part. Okay. Uh, then you have to apply the model. Apply model. And you place it here in our testing. Then you connect this node to this node. Then our this is our testing. Okay, this is the 70% or the 70% of our sample data sets. And this one is the 30%. Uh, the process is similar to what we did a while ago. But the interface, with regards to interface and uh, the method of doing it is... Uh, different from the um, the split data that we use while ago. Okay, just this one is testing here, then you click unlabel there. Then you apply your performance classification. Performance classification. Okay. Performance classification. Then you connect your performance classification here. Then the your performance okay, then you have to go back to your process then now you can connect uh, the result that you want okay let's check the our decision tree model result 
our testing model result and our performance result. As you remember, in our um, previous model, we used the split data operator and we got 54 point something accuracy result. So let's check how this uh, operator uh, provides a performance classification result. Okay, so we have three results here. So now let's run our model. Okay. So this is the latest execution. Then try to uh, check our, okay, our performance uh, result using the uh, cross-validation is only 50, okay? So, which is lower than the speed data. So, better you have to use the speed data. And this is the decision tree, okay? So, um, compared to the speed data. So, this is how you uh, build your um, decision tree. It's either you use the split data. It depends on the data sets that you have. And the um, cross-validation operators. So as you can see, we have only 40 samples here. So I recommend more samples to get higher accuracy because this is not a good model. Okay, okay, that's all. I hope that you learned this demonstration. Okay, and thank you for watching.